Hey, it's Joe with East Carolina Beer and Brewing, and today we'll do a quick video on extract brewing. Extract brewing is a great way to get into home brewing, as it requires minimal specialized equipment, and is a great way to nail down the basics of brewing. So this video started after a little bit of initial setup, and you can see that the water is already brown. That's because the recipe called for some specialty grains that were steeped as the water was warming. Not every recipe calls for this, and I didn't get any good camera shots, so we didn't include that in this part. However, you can see the water starting to get to a boil, and we're preparing to add the malt extract. Prior to putting the malt extract into the water, it's a good idea to keep it in a warm water bath, so that way the thick solution will be ready to pour easily. As you can see, I have a helper stirring constantly as I'm pouring the malt in, just to prevent it from scorching on the bottom of the pan. Another way to do it is to remove it from heat, so that way there's no direct heat source as you're pouring in the malt extract. Make sure to get every bit of the malt extract out of the container, otherwise you might not meet your original gravity. You can see we've added it all in and brought it up to a nice boil, just giving it a little stir. As your water comes back up to a boil after you put the malt extract in, it's a good idea to keep an eye on it, as it's prone to boil over at this stage. We sped things up a little bit, but we're getting ready for the first hop addition now. So this recipe called for one ounce of Herzbrucker hops. We're making a pumpkin Hefeweizen. So this is the one hour boil, so it's the 60 minute hop addition. So we're adding an ounce of Herzbrucker. After you've added your hops, make sure you keep an eye out for boil overs as this tends to precipitate boil overs. I'm giving it a good stir with my thermometer just to make sure all the hops are broken up. And then we'll let it continue boiling. So here we've boiled for about 50 minutes and we're down to the 10 minute hop addition. Now this is going to vary depending on your recipe as hop addition schedules depend on the style of beer and how much alpha acids you need to convert. As well as any aromas you want the hops to impart. So our recipe called for another ounce of Herzbrucker hops. Now with five minutes left in the boil, the recipe called for the addition of some pumpkin pie spice. This will give the pumpkin flavor for the pumpkin Hefeweizen. So now we're adding in the pumpkin pie spice, and after this there will be about five minutes left in the boil. After adding the pumpkin pie spice, we're going to go ahead and put the wort chiller into the wort. Adding it to the boiling wort will help sanitize the copper wort chiller. A wort chiller isn't necessary to cool the wort, but it just helps do things a lot faster. Cooling the wort as quickly as possible helps any co proteins coagulate out and help you get clearer beer. If you don't have a wort chiller, just make an ice bath in the sink and go ahead and put the kettle in there so that way you can cool it as rapidly as possible. Stirring with a big sanitized metal spoon also helps cool the wort. Once your wort is cool, it's time to pitch the yeast, put it in the carboy, and let it ferment. 